my beautiful people. Welcome back to a gorgeous evening in the garden. I am so happy to be home. I just got back from the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida. We had so much fun. It was such an amazing time meeting all of you guys and getting to talk to you in person and getting to actually get that hands-on one-on-one. It was really, really awesome and I really enjoyed it so much. So thank you so much to all of you who came to FAB. Um, I'm also extremely excited because I get to go to Dallas in November and I'm teaching at Fluid Art Experience there. And that's gonna be really fun too. I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody and talking to everyone. And there's gonna be some really fun social events over there, a gala dinner, a meet and greet, a rap party. <laughs> which I understand can get kind of wild. Karaoke. <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun. You can check out the website for Fluid Art Experience, uh, fluidartexperience.com, www.fluidartexperience.com. That's going to be November 17th, 18th, and 19th in Dallas, Texas. So uh, let's get started over here. Tonight I wanted to start off by showing you the dried results for our jungle cruise this was a chaos blowout i did inspired by my friend erica hughes art who's amazing and like the sweetest person on earth ever so sweet um this one turned out really cool i love the sap green that we used as the base coat as the background color that's amazing the green gold came out really really pretty of course my darling bronze blinging away so pretty with the white and the van dyke brown in there really really cool stuff so this was Jungle Cruise. It was the Chaos Blowout with our mini leaf blower. This one's a 20 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. So I just wanted to show you guys that one, the dried results, because I didn't get time before we left. <laughs> so tonight, we are working on an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas that I have painted my sides and edges, and I have taped the back and put my push pins in. That's an 18 by 24. So let me show you my colors. We are also using this beautiful split cup from Tracy Reed and her amazing husband. They were so nice. I met them at FAB and they gave me this five chamber split cup with the handle, which is awesome. You can find these on her Etsy shop, Tracy Reed Designs. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. So they're going to use this one tonight. So the colors that we have, this is an amazing palette. I'm really excited about this. This is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. My happiness in a cup. Beautiful stuff. Such a gorgeous color. It really just viscerally makes me happy. <laughs> so that's our turquoise thalo. Then we are using these two colors from Arteza. This is Pearl Glacier Blue, which I just, I love this. It's so pretty. Their whole Pearl series is beautiful. There's a few colors from Arteza that I'm gaga over. This one and of course pistachio, but I love this Glacier Blue. Just gorgeous. Very, very cool stuff. Everything is mixed with Mix Pour tonight. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up with the good stuff. If you like it thick, tell her you want it Nina thick. <laughs> okay, well, the next one we are using is another Arteza. This is Pearl Turquoise. This one is very, very pretty too. Not super, super thick. Mound on a mound and then sinking into itself pretty quickly. I have watered this one down. The mix was pretty thick, so <laughs> I do water it down a bit. So that's the pearl turquoise. And I think this is going to be really beautiful with those three shades of blue. And we are using my Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white with a little bit of Amsterdam Titanium White in there. This is the white. Cool stuff. And then last but not least, we have my beautiful blingy friend, my new love, my Amsterdam bronze. Gorgeous stuff. You saw it in that one. I just, it, it does something to me when I go in the other studio and I look at it when it's dry and the light hits the bronze and it's like bling bling and I'm like, oh, hello darling. So yeah. Just, Should I be jealous? If you want to be jealous of a tub of paint, that's up to you. <laughs> I don't think you got anything to worry about though, but I do love this color. It's just. It just makes me very, very happy. So this whole palette makes me happy. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to layer our split cup first. Now, when I was doing the splendid split cup class, we were talking about how the two outer chamber chambers are the most prominent colors. So I think what we're gonna do, I want the pearl glacier blue on one side. 
So we're going to start with that. I really like this cup too. The Bismarck, as HOA named it. <laughs> okay. And then on the other side, yeah, I want the darker turquoise. So I'm going to turn this around. This is the turquoise thalo from Golden. sure that all of your colors are pretty much the same consistency so that they flow evenly and they move evenly. Okay, now I think I want the bronze in the center. So I'm gonna put that in there now. The chamber seems bigger than it. Yeah that's why I'm putting the bronze in there instead of white. white and I have the pearl turquoise so I have to put the pearl turquoise next to the glacier blue because if I put the white next to it it would be very very pale and I'm gonna be real careful with this one and not make myself laugh which I did it anyway if that happens don't worry about it it's okay Turquoise. Not such a pretty, pretty color. Okay, and now we're going to put the white on the other side of the turquoise phthalo. So again, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark when you're doing your layers, always. Because that gives you the most contrast. And that's what the human eye responds to. We like contrast. Okay. Alright. We've got that set. I do have over here a tub of drips. Let me see. This one might be better. A darker color. That's more blue. Some more turquoise and gold in it. So let's stir this up and see. That's a good color for a floor extender. That's pretty. In that same family of the turquoise. It's probably got a lot of turquoise in it. Okay, so, okay, we're going to pour some of our Amsterdam bronze. Actually, I'm going to thin it out just a smidge before we use it. Because I like it thick when it's in the cup, but for this layer that goes down that we pour into, I want it to move easily. So that's why I'm thinning it out just a smidge. Okay. That's better. Okay. Over there, I'll bring this and line it up. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna pour this in the center. And we're gonna do a straight pour from up high. In Fiona style, like my lovely friend from Fiona Art. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I was. Okay, here we go. We're gonna keep the cup up high. and just go around it 
No point wasting that paint. Might as well use it, right? Okay, and I highly recommend that you have a tub of water standing by that you can pour into there. I'll do it in a minute though when we're done. And we're going to take some of this flow extender, not a lot, just a little bit, and put it around here. So let's get our spatula. Spread this out. We want to make sure that the flow extender is touching the pour. Cool. Let's uh, let's tilt this out and see what happens. Go over this corner first. I'm gonna bring it back to the center. And we're gonna go off of this corner. And get rid of that tail. I like most of it. It seems to be, I love the center and what's happening in there and I love those lines. Let me wipe my hands off. So we don't drip in the painting. Because I like to point at things. <laughs> so, I love this. This is really cool. And this is really pretty. These lines here and this is really cool. This is kind of... I mean, I don't know, because I know that the bronze is going to dry beautifully. There seems to be kind of like a haze over there that I don't know that I'm crazy about. What do you think, HOA? Are you liking this? Are you thinking we need to repour a little bit of it? Or? I don't know what it would happen if you tipped off the stuff closest to camera. This stuff? Yeah. It opened up that other part, which is cool. Which looks like a cyclone. This is the benefit again of having a little bit more paint than you actually need is that you can adjust your composition to what you like. You're not stuck. All about options, right baby? Yeah. We love options. We do love options. some of this solid. You can see how the paint is still moving fairly quickly? That tells me I still have some paint that I can get rid of. How do you know you're done when your paint's moving really slow? It's just it's a little on the, it's a little on the simpler side. I tend to like the more bold and dramatic, and this has a lot of subtle 
in it. But that doesn't mean it's not good and it doesn't mean I don't like it. I'm just trying to decide if I want to keep it. There are parts that I like and I want to keep. I don't know if I want to keep this though. What do you think? I like it. It looks like a This like, part? Yeah, it's like a storm chaser. I like that part in the middle where we have all the wispy, <clears throat> wisp, wisp. wispy lines. But I don't know if I like this thing. I think I'm going to take that thing off. Sorry. Go ahead. that off and then I'm going to open up this part. Oh, yeah. yep. I'm just, just move it a little bit. Yeah, open those up now. Let's see if we can't introduce the curve in there. Tree roots. Also see a face. <laughs> see a, wizard, a wizard's hat. Okay, now I like it better. No. What do you think? I. I like it. pretty cool. You don't think that we should report it? Then? Nope. No. I like it. I like it a lot. Just not sure about this corner. But I do think it'll dry pretty. So I'm actually going to leave it alone. I'm just going to run my finger underneath the sides and edges to stop it from dripping. Being careful not to touch the painting with my glove like I did the other day. So we're going to leave this one because I can feel you guys yelling at me to leave it alone. Like HOA wants me to leave it alone too, so we will. But it is very pretty. There's some beautiful stuff happening in here. This is gorgeous all along here. I love that. And I love the bronze, how it's kind of subtle and soft, blending with the white. And I love these lines that are kind of fading into the white. They're very, very pretty too. I like this a lot. This is the only part where it's really pale over here. But it's going to dry good though. Yeah, it probably will because there's a lot of bronze over there. So, but This is cool. So, I like these parts too. It is kind of beachy. But there were flames at one point and there was a face at one point. And there <laughs> still are flames. There's wispies all over the place. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please do make sure to check out our website at fluidartexperience.com and get your tickets today. I'm teaching a big canvas class. I'm teaching a splendid split cup class, teaching ring pours and straight pours, and we're doing a 3D class. It's going to be a lot of fun. So come and see us in Dallas. We'll be right back. This is actually the next day. It's not completely dry yet, but it is starting to dry. Some really beautiful things happening in this piece that I'm really happy about. I mean, like this. All these gorgeous, super fine lines in here. I 
really, really beautiful. And that's the turquoise thalo from Golden. And then right there in that center area is not white. That's actually the glacier blue and some of the pearl turquoise in these like bigger cells. It's really pretty. And I think as this starts to dry, those differences are gonna come out more. Hello, Gail. <laughs> Every time. Um, but I love right here where there's some very soft, subtle bronze. And then over in this area is just very, really poofy and delicate and beautiful. Very pretty. And I love, you can see like the bronze over here in the corner is starting to dry. Very bling, 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 bling. <laughs> Don't worry, HOA, you got nothing to worry about. I love you more, but I do love that bronze. It is amazing. So this turned out pretty cool. I like this one. This is our wispy blue. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. I will show you when it's completely dry in another video, but this was a lot of fun. Um, please make sure you check out this coming Sunday, October 23rd. We are having an FAE collab with all the artists that will be there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mine will be at 1 o'clock Pacific Time, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I will put everybody and their time in the description box for you. So please be sure to check us out this coming Sunday, October 23rd. Thanks so much for being here, guys. You guys are awesome. I love you all. We'll see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.